Hello, manifestors. Let's talk about imagination today. Because still a lot of people are confused about what imagination is and are not using their imagination the right way, actually using their imagination every day the wrong way. So if you want to know what imagination really is, how to use it and understand that you are using it every day, whether you know it or not, please watch this video all the way until the end. And if you are new here, please subscribe, like the video, comment and share it if you can. So more people like you can become master manifestors. How important is understanding imagination and practicing imagination the right way? Well, if you are familiar with Neville's work, he said, God is in your wonderful human imagination. So what does this mean? It means that your God power is in your imagination. It's very important to remember that Neville never said that that God power, that God force was anywhere else. He said it's in your imagination. He didn't say it's in your words. He didn't say it's in your thoughts. He said it's in your imagination. So we are going to debunk imagination once and for all. So you are going to understand where your power is and how to use it correctly so you can manifest your desire rather than the unwanted. And by the way, my article yesterday, my blog article is about imagination. I'm putting the link down below and I'm going to pin it in the first comment, so be sure to click on that and read the article as well. Because again, it's not a repetition to what I'm saying here. It's just another way to help you understand what imagination really is. So one thing that I want you to understand right off the bat here, imagination is not only when you close your eyes and create a scene where you have your desire, okay? Imagination is not just that. And it's important that I specify this because when I posted the link to my article on my Facebook group, it didn't take long for someone to comment about visualization and mistaking it with imagination. Imagination is not just when you close your eyes and create a scene that implies that you have your desire. It's super important that you understand this, because if you think that you are imagining only when you close your eyes purposely to imagine a scene, then you are thoroughly mistaken. So let me give you an example that's going to help you understand that imagination is not only when you close your eyes imagining a scene. First example, I am going to give you actually two examples. Let's say you want to use affirmations to manifest your desire. And that's totally okay. You can use affirmations to manifest your desire. But then you come back to me and you're telling me, my affirmations make me anxious. I feel frustrated more than anything when I affirm. I don't believe my affirmations. I was affirming this and I got the complete opposite. Why do you think this is the case? It's because your imagination doesn't match your affirmations. While you are repeating certain words and sentences, you are unwillingly and unconsciously most likely but you are imagining something else. You are maybe imagining the complete opposite. So this is why, my friends, you need to understand what imagination is. And you need to understand that imagination is not only when you decide to close your eyes and imagine a scene. 
So, for example, if you repeat, SP loves me, SP loves me, SP loves me, and you feel anxiety, you feel frustration when you say those things, it's because you are imagining the opposite. You are imagining that SP doesn't love you, doesn't want you. And the same goes for money or anything else. I am a millionaire, I am a millionaire, I am a millionaire, but I feel deep down that I am poor. So it makes me anxious. It makes me feel like a liar to say that I am a millionaire because I am imagining the opposite of being a millionaire. So if you are affirming in such a way, don't waste your time. Stop right then and there affirming and go into your imagination. Here's another example. We all know that if anyone wants to be in a relationship, they are supposed to imagine that they are in that relationship, whether it is married or living together, but you are in that relationship. You guys are living together. Yet, how many times do I catch my clients still hoping <laughs> for contact? What are you imagining? Truly, truthfully, be honest with yourselves. Do you think that you are fooling me? <laughs> if you can't fool me, you certainly can't fool your imagination and the law. You are wanting to be in a relationship. There is nowhere else that you should be in your imagination but be with that person living with them. Yet, your tongue slips as you are talking to me, still wishing and hoping for that relationship, for that contact. Don't kid yourself. How long have you been affirming, I am with SP, I am with SP? If you are doing this, guys, what it shows is that in your imagination, truthfully, in your imagination, you are single. You are not married in your imagination. And where is the God force? Where God is? Where power is? It's in your imagination. So your little affirmations that contradict what you are truly imagining, they don't have a fighting chance. And by the way, there is a right way and a wrong way to affirm so if you want to learn more about this, check the link up here. But it would be the same with anything else. If you use scripting, for example, you script your life. You can script your whole life, for example. But you are imagining something completely contradictory to what you are scripting. Well, don't fool yourself. In this case, Nothing that you do, no scripting, no affirmations, no visualization will work for you. And if you are right now listening to this and you've tried it all, you've tried scripting, affirming, visualizing, the telephone technique, you name it, you've tried it, and you don't see any result, your desires are not coming, you don't see yourself truly changing the way you want to change, it's because you are imagining the opposite of what you want. So how do you know what you are imagining? Because again, as I said at the beginning of the video, don't fool yourself into thinking that you are imagining only when you close your eyes and go into a meditation scene or something like that. You are imagining all day long as much as you're breathing pretty much, right? So how do you know what you are imagining? You know by your feeling. That's how you know what you are imagining. How do you feel? How do you feel? Do you feel miserable most of the day? It's because you are imagining a very sad scenario about yourself. 
Do you live in the lack of your desire most of the day? It's because you are imagining that lack. Imagination is actually the state that you are in. The feeling, the state, imagination, all of that, it's pretty much one and the same. By the way, we are just starting a Being in the State workshop in my VIP Facebook group. If you want to join, I have that link below this video as well. Here is a quote from Neville about imagination that I have put in my article, by the way. Your imagination will go to work to bring about that state in your outer world. You need not to be concerned about how this will be accomplished. Your imagination will use whatever natural means are necessary to bring it about. So, in order to embody the state where your desire exists, whatever that desire is, whether it's a really personal desire about your personality or uh, something outside of you that seems to be outside of you like a job or another person or anything. You are going to use your imagination to embody that state. There is no other medium that you can use to embody a state. It has to happen in your imagination. So you need to imagine yourself as you want to be. The best way to do this is to shut off the 3D completely. So at first, you are going to have to sit down or lie down and close your eyes to do this. For 10-15 minutes, you are going to shut off the 3D completely and focus on your mind as if your mind is the only thing that exists. There's nothing else at all, just your mind and your imagination. And you are going to see and feel yourself as you want to be. You are going to shut off completely the logical mind. Please shut that thing off completely for those 10-15 minutes. You are going to dive in completely 100% into the feeling and the being of being what you want to be, who you want to be. If you do this every day for a while, eventually that feeling will exist within you even when you have your eyes open and are out and about in the world. This is why, guys, meditation as a conscious manifester is super important, especially as a beginner. Because if you don't get the good habits to start with, things are not going to change for you. If you keep on repeating the same thing and expecting different results, as Albert Einstein said, it's the definition of insanity. So you've got to start somewhere. And if everything has failed for you so far, and I know, unfortunately, that a lot of you are in that situation right now, right? That's why you keep on watching videos, you keep on searching because you have not found it yet. The thing is this, if you found the manifesting community, the Neville Goddess teaching community, you have found it. But you're like this person that found a tool but doesn't know how to use it. For example, that happens to me a lot with digital tools. Sometimes I find great tools. Oh my God, this seems very good. <laughs> but then I get it. I download it in my computer, but I don't know how to use them. So what happens? I get frustrated and I need to watch some videos to learn how to use the tool. So if you are watching this video because of this, you have found Neville's teaching, you have found manifesting coaches, but you're still not knowing what to do and how to do it, start here. Start in your imagination. Go into your imagination. 
shut off the 3D world 100% for a few minutes a day, every day. And during those few minutes, you are going to be and only be who you want to be. And eventually, if you do this over and over and over, this is going to be more natural for you. You are going to exercise this on a daily basis most of the day or maybe all day. And you are going to start seeing the world around you change. People are going to react very differently towards you. Do you know, and you probably don't, right? I understand. But if you only knew how people were towards me before in my old personality and how they are now, you would not believe it. You know, yesterday I was on the phone with a representative of my Wi-Fi service and that woman literally fell in love with me. I mean, not romantically, but you know what I mean. She had to say to me at the end of the conversation how nice it was to talk with me. And this is just one example. I have plenty of those examples all the time. Well, this is because I practice what I teach. I practice what I preach, right? So guys, this video has been long enough and I'm going to stop here. Maybe watch it another couple of times. And once you have, please shut off all videos, all articles, all everything and go into your imagination where there is none of the things that you don't want, where you accept only what you do want and your life is going to change 110%. Thank you for listening and watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.